Hey everybody, Adam Savage here in my cave with some post-Silicon show and tells. Silicon is the pop culture convention that uh, I throw uh, through just a few short weeks ago down in Silicon Valley in San Jose, California. And uh, I saw a lot of fans, met a lot of fans, and received a lot of lovely things from some fans. Yeah, okay, so this show and tell is about a helmet I received from Evil Ted, but I wanna set it up for you because it was like the first thing that happened on the first thing in the morning on Saturday of the con, which is the opening day. I walked over to the tested booth and I'm talking to Kristen, our general manager, and she and Norm were filling me in on what's gonna happen and how the flow of that day is gonna go. And I see out of the corner of my eye, a space helmet. And I see that it's got lights. Now, I will tell you that um, being slightly famous, as I have been lucky to be over the past 20 years, means that uh, you become attuned to paying attention to your peripherals, but you also get good at not like looking in a direction because you're just not sure of what the situation is. How do I, 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 is that enough context? I, let me point it out, right? Uh, when Mythbusters was at its peak uh, in 2010, um, I, I was super famous. I could go to an airport and like lots and lots of people were trying to make eye contact with me, wanted to come over and say howdy. And this is fine, except this one time when I lost my son and I had trouble finding him in a crowd of people who all wanted to say howdy. So what happens is, uh, you know, you, you're, when you have notoriety and you go into various situations, you don't know how they're going to go. So you get very good at paying attention to your peripherals, again, without letting, without like turning your head in that way. I think um, women have to do this all the time, <laughs> pretty sure. Uh, so I noticed this space helmet out of the corner of my eye and I thought, as soon as we're done talking here and that guy's removed a little bit, I'm just gonna take a look and see because that looks like a really cool helmet. And that's, that's all I was thinking. And then Kristen was like, hey, this is Evil Ted. And I turned around and it was Evil Ted wearing this helmet, which he then promptly gave to me, which is maybe one of the fastest, hey, that thing's pretty cool to the holy cow, really, this is mine moments I have ever had. Because I saw this in my peripheral scanners and I was like, Gotta look at that thing, that looks really neat. And then the very next thing that happened was that Ted gave this to me, this beautiful space helmet. And he added this to my collection. And I wanna show it to you because it's really neat. Uh, Ted is a professional. Uh, he's worked in the industry, has a long IMDB list. We'll, uh, we have links to his YouTube channel and some of his credits in the description. Um, this was built for some friends film project. It is all foam. This is all uh, soft foam, including the helmet, including the helmet. You can see in here, it's foam. It, I, I can't, it's really hard sometimes to wrap my head around the institutional improvements that foam makers, foam sculptors, like Evil Ted and Bill Duran, Beverly Downen and Cowboy Crunchy and et al, et al, et al. Um, it's really amazing where we've come to because I would see a picture of this and I would have no reason to ever even imagine it was anything but rigid and I'd wonder how they, how they made it. And yet Ted's just making this out of foam, sanding it, painting it. It's beautiful work. Uh, and I'm not done showing you all of its features. No, no, no. Uh, a magnet connects it to the, to the neck ring. So that's pretty cool. There is also, he has included a fan intake, which looks like he repurposed a speaker grill for that. And there's a little switch here. And that blows. Dude, this totally blows. All right, so already I can feel it on the back of my head, but he's placed it in the right position because when you cool a helmet, you want the air to come up over the top. Uh, and so I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the first time I'm wearing it. Hold on, there's one more thing to show you. There we go, lights! Lights, camera, action. Dude, 
Um, I'm sure this was for connecting it to the suit. It's actually keeping the helmet pretty unfogged. Oh, and this, this visor is actually from a gaff kayaking skydiving helmet, G-A-T-H. I used them on Mythbusters all the time because they were very uh, close fitting but you can buy the visors as replacements. And again, we'll have a link, we have a link in the description. Ted built the helmet around the visor. And this is I like, I just, that is the exact right kind of in situ resource utilization ah, that I dig. Hold on, let me turn this off. There we go. Dude, um, I love this. I, obviously have a helmet problem. I have a helmet problem. I, I can't get enough of protective shells for these, these noggins of ours. And Ted, I can't thank you enough for adding this beautiful piece, including the Adam 59. I appreciate that. Uh, Ted told me that this is his age. Yes. Uh, if it would be me, that would be 55. But um, Ted, Thank you. And thank you guys for joining me for this show and tell. Um, I would love to see pictures of your foam helmets if you have some in the comments. Um, because again, we've come a long way in the last just 10 years. It's been amazing. Um, and this thrills me. I could keep on talking about it endlessly, but I think I'm just gonna, yeah, wrap this up. Thanks for joining me guys. See you next time. Hey guys, Adam Savage from Tested here. If you've ever seen the six inch ruler in inches and centimeters on my forearm and wanted one of your own, but you didn't want it to be permanent, well, today's your lucky day. You can now buy temporary tattoos of my measuring stick, my measuring forearm, uh, at tested-store.com. Comes like this, goes on in about 30 seconds with a little water. The instructions are on the back. It comes off with rubbing alcohol, and hopefully it warms you up to the idea of permanently attaching a measuring device to your body, because I use mine every single day.